everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And yes, it's Tim Treacle. Um, and I'm bringing you a movie review that I'm really excited to talk about for the first time. This has been on my list of movies to watch forever. Uh, I've been putting it off, putting it off, because the movie is almost four hours long. But it is a classic. It is... Uh, a movie that stood the test of time and it is considered to be one of the best movies of all time uh, also during its time it had the most Oscar wins and nominations before it was uh, overtaken later uh, many years later but this is a really standout movie I'm really excited to talk about it uh, the movie I'm referring to and it's I believe it is on my 1001 movies you should watch before you die a list as well. I definitely got to double check it, but if not, it definitely should be on there. But the movie I'm referring to is Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind was released on December 15th, 1939. It is a romantic war drama movie that received positive reviews with critics. It has an 8.2 out of 10 on IMDb, a 92% on Rotten Tomatoes, and an 88% on Google. On a $3.85 million budget, it made $390 million at the box office. Now, of course, this is adjusted, I believe, uh, for prices today, possibly. I don't know what all goes into it, but it did make a lot of money at the box office, that's for sure. This movie was directed by Victor Fleming and written by Sidney Howard. And it is based on the 1936 book by Margaret Mitchell. And it stars Clark Gable, Leslie Howard, Thomas Mitchell, Vivian Leah, George Reeves, Oscar Polk, Howard Hickman, uh, Haley McDaniel, and many, many, many more people. Uh, but it centers around a young lady, uh, Scarlett O'Hara, played by Vivian Lee, who... Uh, Battles different relationships, crushes um, during and after uh, the American Civil War. Uh, of course, you know the South was uh, headed north to take on the Yankees. They were already claiming victory before they even got started, and we all know what happened there. But uh, she battles, uh, like I said, relationships. Food, ways to uh, try and get food and uh, to rebuild her life after the war. And there's a lot of things going on in her life. But she's also not a gold digger, but she's a homewrecker because she loves, she's, she's in love with Ashley Wilkes, but Ashley Wilkes is promised to someone else. And Scarlett O'Hare just can't grasp with that. And throughout the movie, she is constantly in Ashley's ear, you know, saying that she loves him and you should be with me. And she does this throughout the movie, but also throughout the movie, she meets another guy uh, who really loves her. And she decides to settle down eventually and, okay, yeah, we'll be together and all this. And, uh, eventually, the guy got tired of her because she kept going back to Ashley every time she had a a problem and uh, he got fed up and there's some classic lines in this movie but the one that is my favorite in this movie and I've heard it before uh, you had uh, frankly my dear I don't give a damn or uh, frankly Scar I don't give a damn however you want to say it classic lines uh, the ending to this movie was great. It sets up for uh, what will potentially be, be a sequel, but we don't get that. I believe we got a TV show uh, at some point. But uh, nevertheless, Gone with the Wind is a classic. It, like I said, it's three hours and 48 minutes. and uh, But it, it flew by. I did my workout, and 
just watched the movie and it flew on by. But uh, I highly recommend that you check this movie out, uh, or you would check the book out. They're phenomenal. But uh, other than that, I thank you guys for watching uh, this movie review. But before I go, there was many accolades with this movie. Uh, like I said previously, at the 12th Academy Awards, it did at the time had the most wins and nominations. Uh, it was later broken. And this was the first color movie to win Best Picture. Uh, the other Academy Award wins besides Best Picture was for Best Actress for Vivian Leah, for Best Supporting Actress for Hattie McDowell. Um, Hattie McDowell, who plays Mammy, she is a black servant. She was great in this movie. She really loves to bust your balls and everything. Um, Best Supporting Actress, like I said, for Hayley McDowell. Best Director for Victor Fleming. Uh, best Screenplay for Sidney Howard and Fleming. You have Best Cinematography, Best Art Direction, and Best Editing. And uh, there were, like I said, there's a lot of quotable cool lines in this movie. Uh, let's see. Uh, Surely you can't be serious and don't call me Shirley. Along the lines there um, is in the, is in this movie as well, and that's of course where Leslie Nielsen gets it from an uh, airplane, which I found hysterical. But there's another scene in this movie where uh, the gentleman is getting ready to carry the lady up the stairs, and he does so successfully. I can't remember if it was the first one or second one, but the movie Hot Shots and Hot Shots Part Two uh, had this scene in it as a spoof. And uh, I can't remember which one it was. I, I wanted to say maybe it was the second one. But uh, then I thought about it. And I, no, I bet it's the first movie. So I'm thinking it's the first movie. We can check that out as well. Uh, but like I said, this movie is a lot of fun. It's got a lot of great characters. And I love the main cast, uh, especially uh, Mammy, uh, the lady who plays Mammy. She is sassy and uh, just all around just a sweet she could be a sweetheart but she could be a badass too uh, Hattie McDaniel is uh, Mammy and she's fantastic so, uh, other than that in the comment section below if you've seen Gone with the Wind let me know what you thought about it and uh, let me know if there are any movies from the 1001 movies I should watch before I die list. Let me know some of those that you think I should watch right away. Because there's a whole bunch of them on there uh, separated by decades. And I would like to re really go back and revisit some of these old movies. But uh, other than that, I thank you guys for watching yet another movie review. And stay tuned for many more movie reviews, top tens, rankings, uh, and other fun things, entertainment. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And check you later. And of course, sorry, I'm going to give uh, Gone with the Wind a 10 out of 10. And like I said, two thumbs up. Uh, but go ahead, uh, check her out. Thank you for watching, and check you later.